Welcome back. In this video, I'll talk about the side effects of statin medications. These medications are used to lower a patient's cholesterol, and they can be very powerful and very potent. And a good rule of thumb in medicine is that potent medications have some potent side effects. And for statins, the side effects include muscle effects, and this affects up to half the patients who use statins. For some reason, statin medications affect the muscles in the body, especially the proximal ones, so in the arm and thighs. It can also affect the muscles in the shoulders and hips. The patient will complain of swelling of these muscles, as well as muscle pain, tenderness, and sometimes weakness. And there is a special enzyme found only in muscles, known as the creatinine kinase. So before ordering statins for any patient, we order levels of creatinine kinase to have a baseline of the patient. And after the patient takes the statin medications, we take another measure of the creatinine kinase and see if it's increasing. If it's indeed increasing, this correlates with the effects of the muscles and the patient's dose must be lowered or switched to another class of medications. A common cause of false positive is exercise. If the patient exercises a lot, their CK level will also increase. But generally speaking, if the CK level is five times the normal, we stop the medication. A rare complication is hepatitis, and this is inflammation of the liver. This can lead to right upper quadrant pain, or the upper right abdominal pain, with symptoms of jaundice. The patient will, lo will look yellowish, and they will have itching all over. Headache, especially in patients prone to having headache, for example, if somebody is known to have migraine headache, statin medications can trigger these symptoms. Abdominal upset, simply having either diarrhea or constipation with symptoms of bloating. And this is very common for pretty much all medications. A very rare complication is memory loss. And luckily, this one is reversible. Once the patient stops taking the medication, the symptom goes away. Trouble sleeping at night, peripheral neuropathy, and this translates to tingling or numbness in the fingers and toes, thrombocytopenia, or low platelet count, and this causes easy bruising, as well as petechia, and easy bleeding in the body, most commonly in the gums and the mouth. When the patient brushes their teeth, they will complain of having some blood in their brush. And finally, reversible hair loss. Alright guys, that's all I have, and thank you so much for watching.